Hello, this is Pauline with a look at retail in the online era. The growth of online and its effects. The growth of online has been a mixed blessing for retailers. Setting up online channels has cost retailers significant investment at a time when economies are still recovering from the global recession. Transparent and fiercely competitive pricing means that retailers are having to rethink their margin targets and expected return on capital. It has, though, provided them with information that has allowed them to better understand their customers' demographics and to segment their offer and target consumers in new ways. Technology enables retailers to provide their customers with an excellent service and experience during their interactions. Customers come to expect the latest advances from their favourite retailers, and those that do not provide them will struggle to attract and maintain consumers. The speed of technology. For retailers, keeping up with the advancement of technology has now become a constant battle, and they need to choose which avenues to follow very carefully, or they can soon lose money on the wrong one. They've had to contend with contactless payments, click and collect, content marketing, multi-channel retailing, the internet of things, and the rise in the use of mobile devices for shopping. YouTube has launched click and buy video adverts. This allows shoppers to buy directly from the video ads they are watching. Google will soon launch a buy button to its search results. So shoppers can purchase from there without visiting a separate website. There are many issues that retailers need to address. Contactless payments. These are accepted in many outlets now, usually for small purchases with low values, such as newspapers, coffee, cigarettes. They're made using credit or debit cards, charge cards or prepaid cards. They do not need a pin or signature. The, the card is touched onto a contactless card reader. There are some security concerns about them. They are sometimes triggered by accident if they're close to the reader and may easily be hacked by fraudsters. Click and collect. The customer places their order online, then goes to the shop to collect it themselves. Why did this happen? The internet was supposed to mean we shopped at home and took delivery there. But the issue is what is known as the final mile. Couriers are perfectly capable of getting the product near to the consumer, but actually getting it into their hand is the problem. In this model, the client knows the product is there, reserved for them to collect at their convenience from their nearest store. Why do retailers need content marketing? We all see so much marketing now, we've become impervious to it. We no longer watch adverts on TV, notice or read them in magazines, or pay any attention to online advertisements. How are advertisers to attract our attention? Content marketing is an approach based on producing and distributing free, relevant and valuable content with the objective of attracting and retaining the attention of a target market and encouraging customer action to produce a profit. What is content marketing? The content produced is intended to influence consumers' behaviour by communicating with them without directly selling to them. You're giving them information, not necessarily about your product or service. The intention is to develop a bond, a trust with them, and it's very effective. Some of our biggest companies use internet marketing. It is why such, so much information on the internet is free.